Alright guys, welcome back once again uh, to another G.I. Joe Retaliation Wave 3.5 Action Figure Review. Okay, I just gotta stop for a minute and say, wow, I'm blown away. This figure is so cool and so unique. It's crazy. I mean, this is the Data Viper. And I'm gonna read to you first the, the package. Uh, what it says, and you can kind of see it, it says, Data Vipers are technology experts who use advanced tech gear to attack, sabotage, and spy on G.I. Joe team using an attack drone. A Data Viper prepares to strike G.I. Joe squad, but the G.I. Joe team spots the drone and opens fire. And there's uh, the attack drone, uh, sort of like a UAV predator type of thing. And then here is a uh, picture of the back of the Data Viper's rig. And I don't know what else to really call it. And then there's the figure with uh, just nothing on it with the guns that go on to the Predator drone. So f the second thing i got to say after WOW is this has got to be probably one of the most expensive figures that Hasbro has produced in terms of production cost since the Jungle Viper, because it reminds me a lot of the Jungle Viper in the way that um, everything hooks together, and I just remember when the Jungle Viper came out, how cool it was. But if you look at the Data Viper, it, he's got this shoulder, uh, I don't know what you call it, sort of like a, it's not armor, it's like a, a shoulder harness, I guess, or a shoulder rig, as I call it that goes over top of him, you know, around his neck and shoulders, and it's got so much stuff on it, it's ridiculous. He has got a digital satellite uh, receiver. He's got some kind of a really cool looking, I guess it's supposed to be an antenna. You can see the UAV drone um, uh, it plugs into his the back of him like a backpack and the the wings flap out and there are uh, spread out and there are some cannons some guns which are the same guns that you saw in that picture of him holding it on the back uh, of the packaging so he can take those off and he can use them as as submachine guns um, and then he's got these gauntlets with these controlled joysticks, which I assume are used to control the UAV uh, and its weapons. By the way, if you don't know what UAV stands for, it stands for Unmanned Aerial Vehicle. And it's kind of like a little shorthand of, of uh, what, what they call Predator drones and, and other kinds of drones that they send the military sends out. And, uh, and these things here, I'm not quite sure exactly what they're supposed to be, but they look like they're little missile racks. But they could be some sort of a, of a computer device. It doesn't really say. Um, you can take this, this is actually a helmet off, and then that's what his head looks like underneath. He's got sort of like this cool little armored faceplate thing, which I imagine is the computer interface that hooks up to, um, you know, has all of his heads-up displays and everything so that he can control the UAV, and if these are missiles, as I imagine, little smart rockets or something like that, and he's got to be able to target those and guide them as well. Another figure that this really reminds me of a lot from the old ARH days is the Fast Draw figure, who uh, was a G.I. Joe figure who basically had missile racks, uh, attached to his back and he had these little uh, pistol grip controllers that went by way of a hose to the backpack and he was you know was able to basically be a manned missile so there's my ARH fast draw um, so I just gotta say I mean wow I mean not in the movie not in the original ARH line there's nothing really like this figure out there anywhere and it is the coolest thing ever in my opinion and I I know this figure was originally shown I want to say two two and a half years ago I believe it was at New York Toy Fair um, when they first showed it. it it was shown when the Zorana was the SDCC exclusive which wasn't this past summer but the summer before yeah I think so uh, no 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 uh, 
it was the summer before that even because the one last year was Jinx so yeah this figure has been in production for a long time and finally has come out and what a treat I need to get at least one or two more of these uh, I hope I can find them at retail but I'm I'm super stoked just to have one um, if you see this figure don't hesitate get it or order it online whatever you have to do because man it is a cool figure and so great for customs as well I mean how many things am I gonna see my customizing brothers out there uh, turn this guy into whether it be as a full figure or, or you reusing the parts all right well um, that's gonna do it for this review I'm not gonna go over the articulation it's all the same uh, it, it's all great no rocker ankles either um, awesome figure so until the next time guys stay tuned for another review Cobra